Do you believe that Jesus has prepared a dwelling place for you in heaven? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty. The story of General Douglas MacArthur is worth retelling, especially to the younger generation. Many might be familiar with his name that has become a byword in every Filipino household, but not so with the story behind the name. The attack on Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, by Japanese Air Force on December 7, 1941, was not an isolated strike. Within 24 hours, the Japanese Empire had launched several offensives in the Pacific, including an invasion of the Philippines, then the Commonwealth of the United States. At the time of the attack, General MacArthur was in command of approximately 120,000 American and Filipino troops in the Philippines, the same ones who would bravely attempt to repel the Japanese invaders. However, it was a losing battle for the U.S. Armed Forces in the Far East. Within two weeks of fighting, the Japanese army was already closing in on the capital city of Manila. As a result, on December 23, 1941, MacArthur ordered his troops to withdraw to the mountains of the Bataan Peninsula where they would seek cover and await relief that never came. Fearful that MacArthur's headquarters on the Philippine islands of Corregidor would soon fall to Japan, President Roosevelt ordered the general to vacate the Philippines in March 1942. MacArthur complied and left for Melbourne, still holding out hope that relief might soon be on its way to the men he had left behind. However, with too few Allied troops in Australia, reinforcements were not readily available. Deeply distressed, General MacArthur famously and publicly vowed to the Filipino people, I shall return. Henceforth, those three words would become the General's mantra until he fulfilled his promise on October 20, 1944. On that fateful day, MacArthur waded ashore on the island of Leyte, launching the U.S. operation to retake the archipelago. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus senses that the disciples are troubled and fearful. He calls on them to trust in God and to trust in Himself. Jesus goes on to explain why this trust in God is appropriate. Although Jesus is going away and leaving them, He promises to return to them, to come again, and to take them to the Father's house with its many dwelling places. Similar to our featured opening story about General Douglas MacArthur where he fulfilled his promise to return and liberate the Philippines. Jesus further assures the disciples that where he is going is where he will bring all who trust in him when they come to the end of their earthly lives. These words of Jesus to his disciples on the night before his own death give hope and comfort to us all As we face a similar situation, he encourages us to replace the anxieties and confusion in our hearts with a simple but absolute belief in him. His promises give meaning and purpose to our lives, greater and higher than anyone or 
anything else can offer. His promises are absolutely real and true. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, is to us the way that leads to you and one another. Bless us with a believing and trusting heart that we may always have the ability to internalize and be inspired by everything that you teach us. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.